All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank hello, you. friends. A little hi. There we go. Um, hello. Yes. Hi. My yes. Chef. Yes. <laughs> you can be heard. Um, <laughs> I have now started doing the mic check after, like... <laughs> after we're already here. Well, like, I can't see it before because mm -hmm. I'm now using Streamlabs, which means that it doesn't show me it in the before. And it's probably just a setting I have set, but I don't know it well enough yet to have everything configured correctly. Um, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, so I have been checking if, again, at any point you can't hear them or you can't hear me, just let me know. Um, or if either of us are out of balance, let me know on that one, too. Um, I can't change just one of them. I can only change both of them, so just, you know, a heads up. Um, so, <laughs> welcome to stream. Um, We're trying our darndest. I did not actually get a haircut. Well, sort of. I cut my own bangs. Uh... And actually, it went sort of okay. Um, <laughs> uh, but thank you. Um, <laughs> so, um, let's see. Uh, let's just get into this. We have our recap. Uh, we got Ron Delight acquitted by, by implicating him in the murder of his own boss, whose corpse fell out of the safe in his office. It does look like he got smashed in the safe, though, based on how they put the rope. Like, I get it. Mm -hmm. Um... Pearl took back the urn, which now spells Ami's name correctly, for some odd reason, um, and has paint splotches, also for some odd reason. Um, Gumshoe told us about Luke investigating the first theft, and about the alarm button that should have been pressed but has no fingerprints, and Larry was supposed to be on guard under Old Bag but overlooked the alarm record. Because Larry is... when something smells, it's usually the butts. Um, yep. Um, Alright, we ready to get started? Yeah. yeah. Alright. I will chat is closed. Uh you guys get oops, I just saved. Um <laughs> Okay. <sighs> oh yeah, this is me. I got uh -huh. this. Um <laughs> You got this, fam. <sighs> the treasures of Korean exhibit is all ruined now. Maya. I'm sorry, it's just so sad. This was our big chance for everyone to learn about spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer her up somehow. You okay. can't. Well, now that we've got the sacred urn back, maybe they can reopen it? Really? Sure! Maybe we can label it the urn of mask to mask desires! That would probably attract a lot of attention. And? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, that's brilliant, Nick! We could clean up and be filthy rich! Woohoo! Wow, that that was surprisingly easy. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, um We're here, let's go into the basement, I guess. October 13th, Lord Lee Taylor Basement Warehouse. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright. It's me, Miss Andrews. Uh, what's the still hanging... What, what's she still hanging around here for? Besides she, that fact that she works here. <laughs> um, so, how's it going? What about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? <laughs> <laughs> Taken care of? Do you, do you mean it's been found? Yes! It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, really? You are the greatest, Mr. Wright. I don't think she would actually think he's the greatest, but you know. Mr. Wright had nothing to do with it. It was Mask the Mask's wife that found it. Well, anyway, I'm so relieved. <laughs> <laughs> Not letting you get away with any extra credit, Nick. Damn it. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you just heard about it on the news. So that detective was actually the thief all along? It looks that way right now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Amazing. The Agatha all along song has actually been stuck in my head because a coworker and I were talking about Loki for most of the day. So anyway, uh, <laughs> it's a look, good it's a show. Bot. I 
just had, um, <laughs> yes, I've had Marvel in my head, so of course my brain immediately goes to like that's like my like waiting room elevator music. Just in case anyone's waiting curious, room. this today it's it's a uh, Agatha all along. Anyway, um, it, it's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Damask to guard the treasure. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey, Nick, if she wants to apologize, you should let her. So, uh, when was uh, it that you hired Detective at me again? Maya's gonna make merch to mask and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> merch to mask. I love it. Um, <laughs> Look, it's got some marketing potential right there. <laughs> it does. It, 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 there's alliteration what they're not to love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, about 20 days ago. And when was it that Master Mask's calling card arrived? About 10 days ago. Hmm. So, he sent a calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. Uh, I guess that's it then. Detective Atme must have really wanted the sacred urn after all. Mm, I guess so. Because everyone wants an urn. Mm -hmm. uh, what? The mask of ass murdered someone as well? Oh, uh, well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought that he was stealing. He was here stealing that urn at the time. <laughs> Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything is possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. On the, the hunt? on the night of the theft, <laughs> did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Atme? Uh, that is nose. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't have. That nose, though. <sighs> Literally, how does he fit it under the mask? Mask to murder. <laughs> mask to murder. <laughs> Oh my god! Help! Oh my god! Okay, I missed that. And then Ron will sue Maya for copyright infringement. <laughs> and mask to murder. Um, oh my lord! Desi does need that money. Oh god, yeah. After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse of him. Really weird. Yeah, he claims that's the way he always operates. That's well. just what he says so that he can have an alibi while he commits the thefts himself. Yeah, he was caught in the crime scene photo dressed up as Mask the Mask pretty well. So glad that you got your sacred urn back. Hmm, yes, but there's still something that bothers me about it. What is it? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But I'm bothered. <laughs> Uh, but somehow, the urn that came back seemed different. It's almost like it says a different thing on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? And a sus. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? No, I, I don't know anything. Why, why would I? I think she knows something about it. Oh, shit. I really think she does. <laughs> uh, Psyche Locks. Okay. What do you think this means, Nick? Uh, it means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Ms. Andrews. Well, let's see what we want to talk to her about. Hey. He's like, I've been here before, bitch. It's my Katama time. Ms. Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? Do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. Indeed. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that... That's, um, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be, it could be a fake. A fake? You did I, did, you <laughs> did I stutter, bitch? 
you're the one who said it wasn't the same. So that's the almost obvious explanation. Do you? Oh wait. The... <laughs> Do you have any evidence the the urn was submitted that the trial was genuine? Uh, Considering the fact it... I don't even have the urn on me, I'm gonna guess no. Uh, I think I need uh, the urn back from Pearly. Yeah. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. It's, I should investigate and gather more clues before I try again. Alright, well. Um, I'm gonna take a look and see if there's anything oops, different here. Um, everything looks the same. So I guess we will move on. You're going to get me stuck on that now. Um, no, I'm sorry! Uh, I don't know why it's stuck in my head. Let's see. So we're just there. How about the at me detective agency? Ah, October 13th, that'd be a detective agency. <laughs> you doing okay? <laughs> no. Um, whoa, this place is literally crawling with cops. What did you expect? Now that they know he was actually masked to mask, this must be incredibly embarrassing for them, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make up for it by tearing the place apart. Hey, I just noticed. Gumshoe is nowhere to be seen for once. Well, he is a homicide detective. He's probably working on the murder case. True. But wasn't he in charge of the mask to mask investigation all the way up to yesterday? Well, a murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? He'd say something like, There's nothing like a good murder case, pal. Mmm, points for the quality of impression, but I'm not sure Gumshoe has <laughs> bloodlust, Maya. Um, anything interesting here? Literally nothing is lighting up. Wow. Okay. I guess he's not lit. Oh! Okay. okay. Well, um, I guess we don't have anything to investigate here. So we'll move on. Do I have anything more to talk to you about? No. Do I have anything more to talk to you about? Possibly. What did I get? Um... Detective Gumshoe, about this- uh, never mind, he doesn't care about this. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you happen to have the cheat up still? Yeah. Can you let me know where I need to go next? I have a feeling that I <laughs> don't need to talk to Larry going? more. Um, it says detention center. Okay. Um, detention center. I have to figure out how to get to it from here. There is no one here. So did I miss talking... Did we present some? What, yeah, go back to, to present where Adrian some? was. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have you two. You see, Miss Andrews, you tell her the sacred urn is taken care of. Talk to Andrews. Damascus and er, er, identity. Um, yeah, sacred urn. You ask how the urn is sud suddenly different. Andrews says she doesn't know anything about it, but two psychologs prove otherwise. Move to detention center. Well, this is awkward. Um, yeah, we did. We did, have we did that. Um, I guess we'll take a look here. That pathetic-looking wooden box. Uh huh. That's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Uh, don't touch it. There may be clues to the thief's identity on it. Uh, I worked so hard to make that box. Too bad. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that God. supposed to mean? And I... I was so proud of it. Oh, Maya. Oh, 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 damn. Uh, poor Maya. Maybe I'd have been better if Master Mask had taken the box, too. <laughs> wow, that's my initial thought. I'm such a nice friend. 
Detective Amy said he got hit on the back of the head with this by the thief. But that was obviously a lie. Because it turned out that Atme was the real thief, it's still hard to believe. It looks like Adrian feels really bad about it. I'm going to take full responsibility and fix that sword myself. I, I know I don't look it, but I have complete confidence that I can fix it right up. I promise I'll fix it. You'll never knew it was bent in the first place. B please be gentle with it. Burger. Burger. <laughs> it looks like a part of the big signboard. All I can read on it is the burr. Aha! I've got it. Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger. Why? Why would anyone write hamburger? Hamburger that big. Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something? I kinda doubt it. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it said spaghetti. Why are you talking about food? Oh, wait! That's normal for you! Mood Miami, too. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said Spaghetti Festival. What do you think? No. <laughs> yeah, we've had this conversation before. Okay yeah. to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. Okay. Let's look at the computer. This is the camera and the computer that Detective Atme set up, huh? That's what he said. <laughs> and yet, he still let it take a picture of him. I guess he's not as smart as he pretends to be. Uh, the camera belonged to Lordly Taylor, so he knew he couldn't tamper with it. So then, why would at me, I, I mean, Mask to Mask, allow that to happen? The blood. <laughs> the Danganronpa blood. I know. It, it looks like, to me, it's been dry for several days. Well... There's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly, and it's shocking pink. Like your box? <laughs> I don't see how the color of the paint is in any way important. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's Doug and Rafa references, okay? The statue wasn't there where it is now when we first came here, right? Hmm. Yeah, it was right next to the door, wasn't it? Well, if someone moved it, it was probably Master Mask. Maybe he didn't like being watched by Mystic Ami while he stole the urn. Mm, hey, cut it out! You're, you're giving me the creeps with that kind of talk! Okay, I don't necessarily... I guess we'll take a look at the door. Organic. <laughs> anyway, it's it organic like hamburgers. Organer... I, I don't know. Erg? I don't know. Uh, it looks like the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. I guess that's where they were keeping the sacred urn. Oh, remember, Maya, Ms. Andrews said we're not allowed to in there. Boo. Okay. You're no fun. Well, um, Miss Andrews isn't talking about anything else, so, um... Let's, no, we let's try the detention center again. That's still Can a Can we no. discuss ladders again? <laughs> I think no. we have to find the ladder first. Um, okay, so maybe we missed something when we were talking to Gumshoe? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. But yeah. Me trying to figure out how to get anywhere in this is a lot of fun. Um... Please excuse me as I start presenting evidence uh, full speed ahead. Randomly. Yep. Mm. Um, so about this. Uh, what's that? Hey, wait a minute, Maya. What's wrong? Without permission, don't show it to him. 
He might get mad at us. So, what are you two whispering about? Uh, oh, it, it's nothing. It's just my billfold. What is a billfold? Yeah, what the hell is a billfold? <laughs> is it when you Whoa. fold your bill? <laughs> Is this something we're going to have to Google? Give me a second. Um, what a, a wallet is that? Oh, give me my guess. Are you serious? If it's a wallet, I'm gonna cry. Like, for real. It is camera. a wallet. According to Hell the Oxford yeah. Dictionary, yeah. it's a wallet typically made of leather, especially a thin one with a few compartments. They could've just said wallet! <laughs> okay. Now I'm upset. It's fancier if you call it a billfold. Exactly. Um, yes. That's a pretty thick billfold you got there, pal. I'm calling that. Now I really want want you to show it to me. I'll find them. This is his first heist, and I guess I underestimated him. I was sure I was going to get him, so I was careless and lost the info on the witness. Hmm. By witness, do you mean the guard in this photo? Yeah, he and the detective worked together to try to catch Mask to Mask. But he got away anyway, huh? That guard. Mm. I've got the weird feeling that I've seen him around lately. Uh, I figured it out. You figured uh, it out? I'm, going, I'm pretty sure I know who the guard is. Oh. I think we talked about that last time. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I said. It has to be our homeboy. He's skinny enough. And he has the curls -ish thing under his cap. I mean, this would be solid, uh blackmail if he would have figured out who Master Mass was or even like helped him at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's publicity photo. Whee! Uh, this is proof that Ron Delight was here at the crime scene when the murder happened. His wallet and this key card, huh? I think we need to ask Mr. Delight some more things, some more about those two things. Well, can I now? Can Am I allowed we? to? I hope so. <laughs> uh, about this blackmail letter. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it too, pal. Why would Kane Bullard have been blackmailing Ron Delight anyway? Well, Mr. Delight used to work at KB Security, right? But what was it that made him quit? Nick, that's it! Maybe that's the same reason he's being blackmailed! Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, I'm in the middle of investigation. The, I'm investigating right, that right now. Oh. Alright. You wanna talk about that? No? Oops. Uh, let's see, do you have anything to say about the Shisha Tito? So, Detective Admi wasn't hit in the back of the head after all? <laughs> uh, that's right, because he was the real thief. <laughs> he wanted it to look like he was knocked out. So he bent it on purpose. I'd stake my reputation on it. <laughs> what kind of a creep would ruin an antique for that? A creepy creep. <laughs> I love this. Phoenix. Maya, it's a wallet. Maya, it's a billfold. Stop with the narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Exactly. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, uh, the thief in the photo taken by the security camera is missing his brooch. I will say, every time I see a ladder now, I think about, you know, is it a step ladder? Is <laughs> it a ladder? Stop function. thinking, you know, like, you need to stop seeing the world through your own 
narrow-minded cultural assumptions. Um. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. <laughs> uh, yep. That the thing is, there's no evidence that the photo was tampered with. We definitely take it at 12:58 a.m. In this universe. I turned the tables at the trial today with the mystery of the missing brooch, and also how would one spell that? Yeah. I wonder if there's something more to this missing piece of costume jewelry. He didn't want to talk about that earlier. Because he's a dumb dog. He's a dummy uh, That was what I just presented, sorry. Um, you want to talk about Amifei? Nope. Yes, he does. Rude. What a rude one. Uh, remember, don't tell anyone about the emblem, okay, pal? Uh, does the thief ever send these to the police? No. Always to the victims. Up until now, the victims have always come to us looking for help, though. That's not what happened this time, you mean? You got that right, pal. Listen up, if you guys ever get one of these calling cards, I want you to come to us right away. Got me? Yeah, sure. Because we just have a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I still got no idea why Mask to Mask would go after a broken old pot like. Okay. Oh, shit. Prepare to die, Gumshoe! Uh, Goodbye, <laughs> <laughs> old family heirloom! Good point! Why go after a worthless piece of junk like. Uh. I, I. I mean, worthless in a good way. I mean, <laughs> this is first for the guy! Like. <laughs> Adrian Andrews hired at me as, a, as security before the calling card even came. I wonder if that has anything to do with how things played out. Okay, so he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Uh, maybe now, try. Maybe uh, now, yeah. Detention? Please excuse, oh, excuse me, me as I have to figure out how to get back to the detention center. Nope. Oh, oh damn. damn it. What the fuck did we miss? Crying in the club? We missed crying in the club. Did we try that yet? <laughs> Phoenix just cannot stop jumping no. on the dead family member button in any game! Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That sounds about right. Uh... I can't. I cannot do that, you guys. Ugh. Do you want to talk about this? Nope. The one guy who always wants to talk about everything. I know. Except for this. <laughs> There's, a, there's an exception. Please excuse me as I... Come on. Just start doing evidence. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, I checked out because I was like, oh, well, this is going to take a minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys really have made me reflect on the way I've been living. Oh, God. Frickin' iPad. Okay, hold on. Uh, but the only problem is, with all this reflecting... Where is time to love? Frankly, I think reflecting is a bit overrated, you know? What are you going on about, Larry? Plus, do you honestly have any new info on the buzzer record? Uh-huh, the, the record? Uh, no, nothing at all. <sighs> this guy reflects about as much as a piece of black carpeting. Okay, we I don't know what that means that. either, audience. I don't know what that means. Yep, doesn't want to talk about that. Yep. Thought it would be a little weird if you wanted to talk about that, but you know what? Um, listen carefully, okay, Nick? 
I know you don't think much of me as a person. That's an understatement. <laughs> uh, but I'm no thief. I would never wear a goofy getup like that. Um, nobody ever accused you of being a thief. Uh, it's too much work for me. Making plans, writing, calling, writing calling cards, etc, etc. I think that's the only way you could be a thief is by doing the math <laughs> math thing. Uh, I'd rather just pull a dine and dash at a burger joint. Burgers? <laughs> I Every... love burgers too! Oh my god. Really? Well, how about it? Wanna go on a burger date tonight? She no! <laughs> At least pay for the food, because I'm not defending you again. So, was this card that was this the card that was used by the culprit that night? Well, going off the serial number, then yeah. This car was used to open the CEO's office door at 1 in the morning. Your client had this card, right? And it's a no-brainer, he's the killer, man. Mm -hmm. Oh. But we don't want him to be the killer! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, you are a thief, that's why we became a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's the wallet I found. You found it when you snuck out of work to get socked in the kisser, right? <laughs> right? I, I didn't <laughs> sneak out of work to get socked in the kisser. Yeah, you did. You had been more responsible at work. <laughs> I might have spotted the murderer on the monitor like I was supposed to. Yeah. Larry, you really do feel bad, don't you? Should. <laughs> yeah, well. Maybe it's all for the best. I think it's brought Desi and I closer together. No, it didn't. She's married. <laughs> Just like they say, every cloud has its silver lining. Gotta see that old water glass as half full, am I right? <sighs> no. Now he's starting to sound like Valeria, I know. Don't forget, Nick. Half full. I wanna forget. Um, so what about this? <laughs> huh? Maya, you shouldn't have a love letter for me. No. Uh, no, sorry. This is a blackmail letter? <laughs> what? How do you know about that, Maya? Huh? Uh, how much is Alexis... Alexis demanding this time? <laughs> uh how? -huh. Oh, you read stuff and you're like, oh. <laughs> Larry, just because her husband's in the detention center doesn't mean you can hit on her. Yes. Imagine a bunch of crimes happening on the monitors right now while Larry's back is turned. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, huh? Who is this Alexis? Didn't we show him this letter yesterday, too? I'm pretty sure we did. You care about this? Mm, this is one of Kudain's greatest treasures. I just have zero interest in all this old junky stuff. But now that I'm a, a new person, well, I kind of see the appeal. Okay. You're a fan. <laughs> hey, I got it. Why don't we all go visit one of those muscular temples next time? Oh my god, that's not why I'm showing you this! I think I could actually learn to like this new Larry. <laughs> yeah, but he still hasn't told us anything useful. Okay, he doesn't. We 
shoot down that one. He wants to go to a temple. Who doesn't, to be very honest? You might see some beautiful sash. I'm running out of things. Here's my attorney's but Oh my god, he does want to talk. That's not necessary, Nick. <laughs> they never want to talk about this. You don't have to threaten me. I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> I know it's tough to tell, but I'm re really sorry about what happened. Wow, I've never seen Larry so look so serious. I actually believe him. Yeah, he's like a totally different person. In that case, maybe you and I could get reacquainted. How about no? Okay, he doesn't want to talk about anything else. He didn't give me anything new, so... When in doubt, present a badge. Because lawyers are our sponsors for today's video. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we can start presenting shit to Adrian. What is waiting? Yo, Adrian. Hi, this is my badge. Oh my god. Everyone wants to talk about the badge yeah. today. <laughs> oh, great deal of thanks to that badge. <laughs> the only reason that I'm still here today. Oh, come on now, that's not true. I think what Nick means to say is, it wasn't thanks to the badge, it was thanks to me. <laughs> Stop it, Maya, I'm trying to be cool! Tell the truth, Nick, I know that's what you were thinking. No, no way, Maya! <laughs> okay, we talked about that. Oh, never mind, we didn't. Let me uh, go back to that one. <laughs> Take two! Take two! Oh, yeah. um. <laughs> the Treasure of Terrain exhibit is my first job after last year's ordeal. I really wanted it to be a success. I've got an idea. Why don't you redo the whole poster? You could put something like, Voted Best Treasure Exhibit by Mask to Mask! Why, Maya? That's a fantastic idea. Thank you. Nick never thinks so. <laughs> there are several reasons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hired Detective Amy for security before we even received a calling card. Why is that? <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose that was a mistake. Anyway, uh, oops, wow. At me, I mean. Mask to mask. He sent a calling card to the very exhibit he was hired to guard. I wonder if it was because he knew it would be easy to steal. Yes, but he should have also known that he could easily become a suspect. Well, that's not wrong. Hmm. Uh, I thought the whole exhibit would be brightened up by something shiny and gold. That's why I went to the trouble of borrowing it from a branch family training hall. A gold statue is totally cool in my book. It arrived rather late, so I thought it wouldn't be able to. Oh, it wouldn't be able to put on display. By the way, it looks like this statue has moved on the night of the theft? Oh, it was moved. Sorry. Do you know anything about that? Uh, no. It clearly wasn't me that moved it. Oh god. <laughs> Why is she so flustered all of a sudden? As if a psyche lock could be <laughs> the myth. <laughs> security camera was provided by Lordly, T Lordly Taylor department store. 
I took a closer look at it on the day after the theft. Uh, the timestamp on the photo is definitely real. They keep, like, stressing that, which makes me think that it is not going to be real at some point. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops, that one went. I love that. Apparently, there's a line somewhere that implies that Phoenix canonically always presents his badge to Gumshoe at every opportunity. <laughs> It was there! That'd be great. Maya, we cannot afford to sculpt a gold statue of you like you want. Boo! I'm going to be the future master of the Korean channeling technique. You could have the first statue of me in the entire world. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll give you 50 bucks. Detective Atme said he got hit on the back of the head with this by the thief. But that was obviously a lie. Oh, because we've already done this one. Um, the cake is a lie. She doesn't know anything about that, or that, or that. I or best that. we can afford just enough for a gold plated bust of pearl. <laughs> 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 Probably. We're so broke. We are so we never broke. Charge the, ex we never charge the correct amount for the service we do. <laughs> We get paid in chicken nuggets or something. I don't know. It's got to be something close. Okay, she's not gonna know about any of that stuff. The only thing we have left is her psyche lock, but I don't know how to break it. I shouldn't be able to. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm gonna do some googling magic. Um, Yay! Google! I go Google. While we're on break, <laughs> I'm gonna promote really quick. Catch me on this Saturday at Idol Virtual Stage on Twitch here. Uh, July 17th, 1 p.m. PST, I will be uh, performing. And also with my cover group for Udapri, I will be performing on this Sunday, yes, the next day, yeah, 4 p.m. Uh, uh, I'll ah. I'll tell you guys afterwards, but yes! I anyway. found it. Found it? Yay. I found it. Uh, let's see, how do I get past, how do I get back to it now? Um, CEO's office? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know why that Detective Gumshoe, tell us more about Mr. Shane Bluebard. That's Shane Bullard. No, Shane Bluebard, pal. Oh, yeah. The victim in this case just doesn't make much of an impression on me. Well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just babbling like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick. <laughs> now is our chance to get more info about the victim, so hurry up and ask. Okay. And um, look, he wants to talk now. Oh, fantastic. Yay. Can you tell us some more about Mr. Bullard? He was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? I just imagine myself batting my eyes. <laughs> it's just Nick and Maya sitting there going, Please. It's for me. <laughs> Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Weird. It's almost like it's a security company. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bill what is the hot? Had the chance to learn a lot of secrets during this kind of work. Doing this kind of work. Oh, and? And I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grabber. Really? Me too! I just love money! I can't ever get enough! Oh god. 
Please stop leaning in towards me like that! You aren't getting to my wallet! Wallet, this, please! Which is not a billfold! <laughs> anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. Oh! So that's my problem! I need to be shiftier! Um, let me go already? <laughs> Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Ooh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Like the way you're trying to grab my wallet! Game knows game, man. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, KB Security used to head the security operations against Mask to Mask. What? Really? Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, my company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bullard who sent Ron to the black... Well, who sent Ron the blackmail letter, huh? Ooh. Okay. Now can I go talk to him? Lord, I hope so. Uh, let's see. Right in company law offices. Detention yeah. Center. Yay! Yay, October 13th. I feel like I just Good. passed the test. Oh, God, for real. <gasps> October 13th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Uh, ah! M Mr. Wright! Mr. Delight! Did they finish their interrogation? Yes, but please don't leave me alone anymore! <laughs> Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? Well, uh, you see... On the same night the sacred urn was stolen from Lordly Taylor Department Store, a blackmail letter you got summoned you to KV Security to hand over some money. And then, that's where the CEO, Kane Bullard, was murdered. But there's only one Ron Delight, am I right? So the only question is. Where were you that night? This time, I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Uh, okay. Stop! Anyway, Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you are mask to mask? Isn't that what I've been saying since yesterday? That was a quick response. Mm, tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But, but listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that again. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. everyone, take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, a, a tragic clown. I'm sure the penguin. I guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Of course not. After all, you were at KB Security at the time. And so and then, a the person problem. dressed up as Master Mask in this photo. It's got to be Detective Atme. So, that night, you didn't go to Lord Lee Taylor. You went to KB Security, right? Yes. I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail note said I should. Alright, um, so what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used the key card to unlock the door. That's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was in there. Someone? Was it the CEO? <laughs> probably. I hope it was. Oh, shit. Then suddenly they bashed me over the head. Bam! Was it Kane Bullard that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. 
When I came to my senses, the sight I saw left me speechless. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me. I thought I'd die myself. Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body. So that's why you put it in the safe. Yes, that's right. Also, this is a shitty security company. If when they <laughs> hired someone, well, sorry, when they fired someone who knew the combination to the code to the safe, mm -hmm. they didn't change they didn't it. Didn't change it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rude. I used to be chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what did you do after that? Well, I got out of there for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Nick? Oof. All of a sudden, Mr. Delight kind of sounds like the murderer to me. Please don't say that. Mr. Delight, is it true that one year ago you were forced to quit KB Security? Uh, ah! How did you... I'm begging you! Please don't tell Desi, please! D don't worry. We haven't told anyone yet. <sighs> Thank goodness. Uh, no, I, uh... Um... But I suppose I'll have to tell her sometime. She'll find out eventually. Mm -hmm. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Desi would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A criminal, a thief. She'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. Okay, knowing yeah, that, that right. why did you become a thief in the first place? Because Desi spends money like it's water. There, <laughs> there's no job in the world that could bring in enough money. Except being a thief. At least that's what I thought anyway. So he became Master Mask for Desiree, huh? Okay, let's start asking about some shit. Well, that's hella sus. I was at KB Security around 1 o'clock that night. I took out my wallet to open the door with the key card. So, is that when you dropped it? Uh, I'm sorry. I should have told you the truth earlier. Yep, you should have. Yeah, for real. So, was this blackmail letter written by KB Security's CEO, Kane Bullard? Uh, I think so. Probably. You can only get into the CEO's office if you have a key card. Hmm. And the blackmail letter said to meet him at KB Security. I guess no one other than Mr. Bullard could have written the letter then. Hmm. What are you still doing with this key card anyway? Didn't you return it when you left your job at KB Security? Of course I returned it! Don't be silly! Um, but it got sent back to me along with the blackmail letter. With the blackmail letter? Yeah, it said, use this to enter the CEO's office. Oh, she. Okay, that's just it. Hey! This is an article about my debut heist! Boy, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, they were hot on my trail. But... But Mask... Mask the oh, Mask. Wait. He must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared. That's right. I got a sudden burst of inspiration. I hid my Mask the Mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket. Then I quickly changed into my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, eh? Wow. Awesome! Hey, hold the phone. The guard in this photo. Is this you, Mr. Delight? <laughs> That's right. Nice trick if I do say so myself. I don't actually think he would giggle, but it came out before I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cute giggle. <laughs> mm. Mm. Nice and easy to figure out. Even pearls could see through that in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right, we have our newspaper clipping. Uh, but as you might expect, Detective Atme found the disguise. 
he truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. Detective at me found the master mask disguise? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, and I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it? That's when at me got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got the chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time consuming, huh? Yes, it took quite a while to complete. Anyway, a few days after that, I received the first of the blackmail letters. Blackmail letters? Y you got them starting when? Tell me more, now! H hey, calm down! Don't get so worked up! Let's talk about some blackmail. This blackmail letter... Is this the first one you got? <laughs> no, of course not! But this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the tier of Eminon heist. That first letter, it said, I know you did it. So, someone found out about your true identity? Just like that? Uh, it's not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got proof that it was you, so give up! It went off. It went on to say. So in the end, I had to give up the treasure I went through all that trouble to steal. Is that right? Hey! Hang on a second! What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry! After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box, the letter specified, Someone sent me $10,000! No one said anything about me being worried, you know? After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. Plans? Uh, uh, Shit. What are these plans that you're talking about? They were instructions on how to steal a crown or painting or some other rare treasure. They showed security blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. So, you mean that the one who planned the heists wasn't you? No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from ver some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Wow. It sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Please don't. So Ron Delight was Master Mask after all. But... Someone else is behind the thefts. Someone who planned them all out in detail. Watch it be his wife. All Damn. I had to do was deposit the treasures I stole into the safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in the mail. Could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So, you went after the sacred urn because of the, one of those plans too? Well, see, truth is, I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I was told to steal. Mr. Delight, is everything you've just told me the truth? Yes, but, but please don't tell Desi, okay? All right, we have his <sighs> testimony. Ron, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Yes, but please don't hurt me. Oh my god. Uh, no, not that. Mr. Teen Bullard, do you swear... That it wasn't you who killed him. Why are we doing this again? This did not work out for us so well the last time we asked someone this. Um, yes, of course. I could never... I'm not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe. But then I was afraid they'd discover what I did. So I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? Hmm. Mm. I guess so. You're really clever, Mr. Delight. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Mystic Maya! Oh, she may! Hey! Pearly! I'm back! Hey, Pearl, so what have you been up to this whole time? The sacred urn, Mr. Nick. I took it back to Kurain Village to have it examined. And? And? What did you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They said that it's the real urn. Oh. 
That's a relief. I was really worried. But there's one small problem. Problem? Um, these cute little pink splotches. They said that it's paint. And that they were put on the urn recently. Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We've got to find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yes, Mr. Nick. we got to find out how they got there. Uh, okay, okay. We'll, we'll find out how they got there. But please don't forget about me. I, I, I won't, baby. All right. <laughs> Let's go break Adrian's lock. Yay. Like a twig. Da, 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 da. Okay, slight spoilers. I was just looking ahead because I'm. It's been a long week, y'all, and I'm very tired and I'm not reading, so I'm having a hard time, you know, staying present. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be at the end of this will be a really good stopping point. Cool. So after we do the um, the psych locks and everything. Awesome. So. October 13th, Lord Lee Taylor Basement Warehouse. Again! Oh, Pearl, how nice to see you. Uh, hello I'm there! Adrian, a character voice. <laughs> 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 um, I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been up to? Well, actually, I was having this urn examined. Got a under eight year old on errands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Alone in Los Angeles. Yep. Uh, maybe if we take another good look at this urn. We can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, let's look around one more time. Okay. Whee! Ladders. No. This box. There's something about it that's bothering me. That's the box that the sacred urn was in. It looks like there's some pink paint on it, too. And it's definitely the same color as the stuff on the urn. I think I know how the paint got on it now. All right, let's investigate again, Nick. But whom's? <laughs> that looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There is something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly, and it's shocking pink. Mr. Nick, could it be that this odd shape is? The box. I'm pretty sure it's it. it this is it. Uh, th that's the box the sacred urn was in. If you look here, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're right. Look, it matches. Hmm. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Okay. Really. How, though? I think it's all starting to become clear. I can feel it in my jellies. <laughs> We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happened to the urn. Okay, let's see. Anything else that we should take a look at? Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. I think we can probably break her lock now. Yeah, let's try. We're gonna try this. Oh, bam. It's Magatama time, bitches. <laughs> sacred urn! Ms. Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred urn? Do, do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Oh, well, well that's, um, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It, it could it could be a fake. Hmm, a fake. You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that's the most obvious explanation. 
Do you have any of that? Do <laughs> you have any evidence that the urn was that the urn that was submitted to the trial was genuine? Well, believe it or not, I actually do. Sorry to break it to you, but the urn this urn is the genuine article. Pearls went back to Korean village and had it examined. Is that right? It, that's nice, but I don't see how... What she discovered was that the urn had been broken. Again. Did you say again? Yes. It was broken once, a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing has happened. This poor old woman. Her ashes. Just everywhere. <laughs> And quite recently, too. Yeah, I can't imagine there were any ashes actually left in that urn. Uh. Oh, yeah. Recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think it was broken recently? How, how do you know? Because reasons. I mean, I feel like there's, like, three different dif pieces of evidence. There's pink stains on it. Mm -hmm. Which one do I... The block. He killed okay, I proof that it was broken here. Paint marks. Well, Mr. Nick, you're out of me out! Earn yes. box. Earn box? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so, Mr. Wright... Huh? Why do you think it was broken recently again? Uh, well, b because of. I, I just think so. I think it would need to be the other one. Huh? Me? <laughs> no. Alright, but that's not a valid explanation. Ah, <laughs> uh, the hunter has become the hunted. Well, well, it was. It was broken recently. Come on, you know it. You don't. Know. I'm not willing to yield to you on this point. Well, get a grip, please. Now I'll ask you one more time, Mr. Wright. Why do you think the burn was broken recently? How do you know? Because urn. I mean, oh, it is paint marks. It is paint marks. Oh, it okay. Is paint yeah, I, I just, I read it wrong. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, no, shit. Nanny? It's gotta be the oh, wait. Okay. urn, then. You say the you say the urn submitted to the court isn't the same one you saw before. Andrews will say that it is a fake present, present the sacred urn. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul recently examined the urn, but it looks like it was broken recently in uh, proof. Andrews wants to present the treasure exhibit poster. Jesus Christ. Wow, we were so off. I was reading ahead. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> this poster, it was made recently, right? Yep. The poster, uh, the poster for the exhibit? At the time when this photo was taken, the urn said, I am, on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says, Ami. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. I am. Um, what does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. I, oh, I wasn't even there when the photo for this poster was taken. That was a mistake. Now, tell him the truth. Oh, wait. For... Even if the urn was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, that's it. It must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. I think so. Hmm. He probably dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. Hmm. It looks like she's not gonna give up that psyche lock so easily. Uh, 
you have any proof that the urn was broken here at Lord Grey Taylor? Paint marks. <laughs> Paint marks! Yeah! Well, Ms. Andrews. Um, what is this supposed to mean? There is pink paint all over this urn. Uh. And there is pink paint all over the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. In other words, this urn was broken here. You can't weasel out of this one, Ms. Andrews. <laughs> uh oh. She's trying to make her escape. You can't get pink. You, but you can get pink paint anywhere. Well, there's none in my office, that's for sure. That sounds like an efficiency that you need to fix, Nick. <laughs> yeah, put more pink paint mm -hmm. on your office, Nick. Oh, well, there is in my room. Liar. Anyway, uh, the paint on the urn and the paint on the floor is that proof that it's the same paint. Come on, this is getting ridiculous. The proof linking the paint on the urn to the paint on the floor is... This box. The urn was stored in this, right? Yes, that's right. Well, there's pink paint on this box as well. Ah. I think you already know where I'm going with it, don't you? Yes, more or less. The paint on the floor has an odd shape imprinted on it, doesn't it? Yes. If you put this box into the impression in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. Which means that this box was dropped right over here. Over there, sorry. Damn. And that is when the urn was broken. Just like your psyche lock. Aw, oh, yeah. I missed what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Uh, I think it was your name, your name does, does you justice. justice. Ah. <laughs> and I missed Yay, the second Yay, our of help is okay. back. I'm so sorry. I was the one. I was the one who broke the urn. Why does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher? I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, that's not so hard to understand. Is it, Pearly? No, not at all! <laughs> I know just how she feels! Oh god, we, you don't even know! <laughs> it happened about two weeks ago. This <laughs> after the pho poster photo was taken, on the same day the urn arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. And I tripped on a paint can and lost my balance. And the box I was carrying crashed to the ground. Crash! <laughs> Crashy noises, yeah! For all I know exactly what it's like to be framed for murder because of a broken urn! <laughs> <laughs> Good times! Um... Uh, I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart- it, my heart was going to stop. Pearl sitting there like, is your mom going to be convicted of murder just because <laughs> you broke the urn? Like, I don't think like, so. Like, damn. Um, <laughs> uh, fearing the worst, I opened the lid and, of the box, and that's when it happened. A lot of competition, Pearl. <laughs> Broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and landed right in the paint. I, I, I was in shock. To be fair, that looks like a decent box. I don't know why everyone's giving Maya shit. Yeah, it's no. good. 
don't understand why my eye is getting so much crap. Um, and let out a huge scream. Hmm. I can totally see how that could have happened. Yeah, clumsy as she is, I'm sure Maya understands. <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> All I knew, it was the most important treasure in all of Korean Village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shards are pretty big. And that's when the I Am got changed to Ami? I didn't know how it was originally written. But any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said Ami. Yeah. <laughs> Any sane person. <laughs> Any sane person? Really? You're eight, so... Oh, I try not to think about the fact that she's an illiterate eight-year-old. Yeah. Said she wasn't very good at spelling. Even though it's a three-letter word. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I put the urn into the storeroom and no one had seen it since then. But there's something I don't get. When we first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. Mm hmm. The Ami face statue. Aha! The first time that we came down here. It was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But, Mr. Nick, there were no paint marks on the walls or floor of the warehouse when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime, around noon, that gold, wait, <laughs> the, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. I had a thought. It was a wrong thought. Uh, and? <laughs> I realized that the statue would be the perfect size covering up the paint stains. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I put it where you first saw it. I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Uh, um, but there's still one thing I find strange. What is it, Burl? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. At that time, the statue had been moved, and the paint was clearly visible. She's right about that. Well, Ms. Andrews. Uh-huh. What? Uh, I... I don't know anything about that. I, I placed it there to cover the paint, so why would I move it again? Well then, who was it? Who would have done it and why? Hmm. On the day before the theft, the statue was definitely closer to the door. Then, the next day, it was moved. But why? find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it looks like there's some connection between the sacred urn and the murder case. Why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Ron Delight, was at KB Security. So, then why did another Master Mask show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? Everyone looks likes pink paint. No. <laughs> the murder trial is starting tomorrow, but... It looks like that thief is going to be making another appearance. 
dun, and dun, we have hit our two be continued. Dun. So it was a very good place to stop. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, catching up the chat. Maya might have just taken a box from somewhere else and scratched her name on it onto it and claimed she made it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in the Japanese version, it's specifically kanji that Pearl has trouble with. Oh, okay. Which that makes, makes a lot more sense. Um, oh yeah. I was in like, English, what? it just doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Yeah, and kanji would probably be ten times harder to put that urn back together. Yeah. For sure. All right. Um, well, next stream is not for another week and a half. Um, just as a yeah. reminder, we'll have no stream next week. Uh, if Mana or Lamer, you want to do something, floor is yours. Um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, until then um, I will be working on uh, we mentioned the sort of meet and greet variety corner sort of thing that we'll be doing um, I still don't yeah I still don't have a date for it because I don't have a lot of thoughts about it yet but uh, again if you have any thoughts or questions you'd like to ask us um, you can message me on uh, Twitter tag me in a post whatever um, and let me know what you're thinking um Let's see. Anything else that I... Uh, we'll be back, uh, not obviously next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that, um, which is the... Uh, Wouldn't it be August 27th? by then? No. Oh, never mind. Almost. Nope. I'll say we got two weeks left in July. Yep. Um, so oof. we'll be back on the 27th, hopefully doing some Phoenix right if everyone's available. Um Yay. So, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Mana, you want to finish up your uh, uh, advertisement before we go offline? Hooray! Okay, uh, I know. Okay, so uh, Saturday is Shining Idol Fest. So, same thing, Shining Idol Fest here on Twitch. Uh, they're both on Twitch. Uh, that's... Uh, oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, actually, Shining Idol Fest is going two days. So, Saturday and Sunday. But my group's going on Sunday. But Virtual Idol Stage is going to be just Saturday, and it's going to be just me. So it's going to be me on Saturday, and then with my group on Sunday at Shining Idol Space. Just follow my Twitter. It's all, <laughs> like, you'll see it. it, it it's right there. <laughs> anyway, yay! That is it. Perfect. Sink, so <laughs> so uh, support Mana this weekend, um, and we will see you guys after that. All yeah. right. Have a good night, everyone. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Um, Make good choices. Exactly. And yeah. we'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.